Hey, my beautiful truth seekers, I hope you're all doing well today. Today, what I want to talk, oh, by the way, sorry about my eye, by the way. If you're noticing that someone's punched me in the eye, they actually haven't. Uh, I think I'm having a toxic release, have been all weekend, which has been lovely. Um, I've been cleaning out my chakra system on my own, doing some self-healing, which has been incredible. Uh, I'm going to make some videos on that in the future so I can try and teach you guys how you can actually do it on your own. Uh, basically communicating with your chakras and charging up your hands and actually getting some energy into them. But today I actually want to talk about something which I've discovered much more in the last couple of months and has been phenomenal for me. I would actually say, go as far as to say, it has changed my life. Uh, I mean, I, I, I learned how to um, <clears throat> uh, practice mindfulness about 12 years ago when I was suffering from high amounts of anxiety. And I kind, it kind of worked, but it didn't really at the same time. It, it kind of made me aware of how anxious I was, but it never really solved anything for me. And I think what's important with these sort of things is you have to be told in language that you understand that resonates with you. And that's what's happened to me recently. Uh, one book I'm going to quote, I've lost, I can't find it, and it's the most amazing book I've ever read. And it's by a chap called Richard Rawls, who is a Franciscan monk based in New Mexico. And basically the book is called Immortal Diamond by Richard Rawls. And if you're a Christian or you're religious and you struggle with what I'm talking about sometimes, like chakras and energy systems and that sort of thing, uh, and divine matrix and that sort of thing, read that book because he's a Christian, he's a Catholic, he's a monk, but he's had his own awakening of energy and divine healing, I suppose, on himself. And his book changed my life. He has basically looked at the story of Jesus and how that relates to us as people and he's basically written it in a book. Awesome. Just totally and utterly incredible. As soon as I read the book, I felt completely different. I felt like my true self coming forward. I felt that Christianity made so much sense to me after that, which was just amazing because I, you know, I, I want to follow Christ in the best way that I can. Um, and that book nailed it for me. So if you haven't read it, Immortal Diamond by Richard Rawls. Now, what I'm going to talk about is silence today. Divine silence. And what Immortal Diamond talks about is another guy called Robert Sad Sardello. Sorry, Robert, if I've said that wrong. Uh, and his book is called Silence, The Mystery of Wholeness. Now, Richard Rawls, who wrote Immortal Diamond, basically read this book. And that's how he had breakthroughs into who he was and what he was. Again, it's Robert Sardello, Silence, The Mystery of Wholeness. It's not cheap, about eight quid on Amazon. And man, it has taken me to a level now of meditating which is really not hard but so effective and basically all you need to do is be quiet but you've got to have a, a mindset with that stillness and so for me it was very much he just talks about silence he mentions it on every sentence of the book because really we all need more silence and it needs to be drummed into us but for me it was just closing my eyes and connecting with how silent I was in my whole body. I've got things going on. I've got aches and pains or whatever. I've got food digesting. I've got traumas held in my solar plexus. But behind all that, there's a divine silence. Try it. Close your eyes. You're actually, you're full of silence. And that silence is divinity. Now what you can do now is once you've scanned the body and you can see that it's quite quiet, actually. And there's a lot of noise going on in your mind maybe and, and your body. But really behind that there's a great silence. Now move your awareness to outside of your body. And you are surrounded by silence. There's noise coming out of that silence, but they come and they go. They come and go. Behind all the noises is a great silence. 
Now, once you start connecting with that silence, the divine matrix, energy, notice what starts happening to the body and the silence inside of you. To me, I start buzzing. That is God, divinity, on the outside of you, entering into you. The silence on the inside is the silence on the outside. Jesus said, what is on the inside is on the outside, and what is on the outside is on the inside. Once you understand this, you are closer to me. There's divinity all around of you, and it wants to start accessing your energy system to clean out the blockages, to illuminate the trauma. I feel that very strongly and it has changed the way I meditate. If I now feel fear in my solar plexus regarding a current situation or a situation in the future, I'll enter that silence in the body. The trauma will be there. I don't react to it. I don't think about it. I just feel it. Then I, act, then I enter the silence on the outside of me and I can feel that trauma. Once I access the outside silence and it starts coming inward, I can feel that trauma coming up to the heart chakra because the pain inside is being illuminated by divinity and it starts to come out to be released through the heart chakra. I've done that a few times last week, it was amazing. Um, but really, if you're new to all this, just spend 30 minutes of silence a day doing that. Just enter the silence on the inside of you and merge it with the silence on the outside of you. And if you really wanna learn how to do it, Silence the Mystery of Holiness by Robert Sodello and by Immortal Diamond. It will change your life. It's very Christian based, but it's got that energy, spirit beings all around the side to it. It's really open, opens up. It really, really takes you on a Christian energetic journey, which is incredible. And I just think everyone should be made to read that book in church because a lot of Christians would read it and go, hey, what? Well, I'm not going to do that. But you've got to live your life with an open mind. And books like this will change people. So guys, that's it for today. I uh, want to keep my videos below 10 minutes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. I've got stuff coming out every few days, which is awesome. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. And if you want to know what I do, um, it's in the description box below. Uh, I actually am a nutritional and energetic healer. And I run nutritional healing programs for people called Nutritional Balancing. Uh, but other people do as well. If you're in the States or Canada, there's people everywhere that do it. Uh, I've been doing it for a while. Um, and there's other great guys in the UK as well. So um, get healing. I mean, I also think all this stuff works better once you've cleaned out the toxic load better from your body. Like some religions insist that you like detox for a year. And then you start feeling that energy more. And then you start realising that you are divinity and everything around you is as well. Okay, guys. Love you all. Have a great day. Speak to you soon.